Welcome back everyone. In this video, we will implement dynamic expire alert. It means, for example, we have a list of items, products, and we have added the expire date for uh, products. So whenever the product expire, so it will give us an alert that the product is expired. If that is close to expire, it means if there is just remained a month for the expiry date, so it will just uh, give us an alert that it will expire soon. So if that is um, the days are left for the expiry date more than 30 days, so then it will just uh, display as that it is on time and it will be a green color. So let's implement this logic uh, in MS Excel in this video. So let's get start. So to implement this logic, let's in a cell we will just display today date. So for example, just come here, here or somewhere we will just display that is equal to today. So we will use today function to display the date of today. It means today is 23, 5 and 24. So this is today date. So let's uh, just hide it. Okay. This is on G6 cell. White color. Now here we will implement the logic. Okay. So to display the errors. First of all, let's write here equal to app function. Inside app logical test. So for the logical test, we will write our expiry date. This one minus our um, g7 okay it means our uh, uh let's this cell okay which was in g6 i think that was in g6 yeah so minus g6 so we will make it fix so to make it fixed so for that press f4 button so to add dollar sign before column and row name and if this was less than zero it means if it was less than zero so we will display expired it is expired comma again if again the same logic this was this minus okay dc1 minus this state make it up fixed f4 if it was uh, less than 30 so then we will just display the alert expire soon Again, comma, app, this minus G7, make it absolute, was greater than 30, or uh, equal to or greater, okay, let's close it, equal to or um, greater than 30, so we will display on time, close first one, second one, and third one, and press enter. So it means that we passed with an error. Yeah, that is okay. Press yes. So it means the first one is expired because today date is 23, 5, but it is 12, 2, 12. So it is expired. Let's drag this function down. So look at the first two are expired and, and the next two are expired soon. And the last one is on time. So it is our, this is our criteria. Based on this criteria, we have implemented this logic. Let's increase the size for this. So now let's implement the conditional formatting, okay, to just uh, colorize it, okay, to, to add red color to expire and yellow color to expire soon and green color to on time. So select it, move to conditional formatting, come here to new rule and use a formula to determine which cells to format and equal to, here write equal to the first cell, okay, which is E7. So write E7 was equal to expired. If this was expired, so then we will format it as red color. Okay, so let's fill it more color. I custom. You will add this red color. Okay. 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 So this was part of the expired. Let's add one another one. Manage it and add new rule use formula equal to here we will write e7 again was equal to expire soon if it was equal to with expire soon so then we will format it and we will just add yellow color to this one okay and let's add new rule another rule okay for green color equal to e7 is equal to with on time so we will format as green color for this. So assign this green color. 
press ok press ok apply it and press ok so it is how we have implemented so if we change the expiry date for example let's change this to month six okay so make it for example six month press enter so that is on time because that is more than 30 days let's change this date also make it like seven this is also on time so it is how it will dynamically okay whenever uh, it passes the date for example tomorrow and after whenever we are going so it will just dynamically change these dates so it is how we can implement this logic in ms excel so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching